Everything you see exists together in a delicate balance. As king, you need to understand that balance and respect all the creatures, from the crawling ant to the leaping antelope. But Dad, don't we eat the antelope? Yes, Simba, but let me explain. When we die, our bodies become the grass, and the antelope eat the grass. And so, we are all connected in the great circle of life. I can write a summary. I can describe the beginning, middle, and end of a story. The old lady swallowed the fly. She swallowed the spider to catch the fly. She swallowed the bird to catch the spider. She swallowed the cat to catch the bird. She swallowed the dog to catch the cat. She swallowed the cow to catch the dog. She swallowed the horse to catch the cow. Then she died. <laughs> this is my summary. It says the old lady, she tried to swallow, kill a fly. She won't, but she don't know what to do. She ate a fly, spider, bird, cat, dog, horse, then she died. Good job. I can read a phone scene. I can compare stories I have heard from my elders with the story how Raven got the sun. We aren't happy with this world we live in. This world, this world is always light. can share the light from the sun. If we share the sun, then things could live and grow on both sides of the world. <laughs> we wouldn't have to live in the, in darkness all the time. And that is how the sun became to be shared by both sides of the other of the world. I can list three things that all living Things are non-living things must have short living and non-living things. Describe where uh, living things get their energy. When I say things, you're going to say okay, and I want you to talk to your partner about what you eat every day. Tell them everything you ate today, or actually everything you ate yesterday. Everything from breakfast to a snack to a Skittle to an M&M. You understand? I'm right. Right. Everything from breakfast. Think about it. Ready, teach? Oh, okay. okay. Do you think that makes it Animal and bullfrog have habitat ponds where they eat insects, predators, people, fungal sap. 
And what type of eater is it? Oh. Next, next makes, next makes noise. Cool. Very I good. can explain a relationship between pred predators and prey. Change the cat into a big dog. Not at, not long after that, a hungry tiger came around. Who do you think could um would be the predator? But we're gonna blow the answer. Ready? Who would be the predator? Blow, 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 blow. Hands up, hands up, release. The tiger. The tiger. Who's the prey? The dog. The dog. Wait, predators, predators, or prey? I'm May fifth, and I found a new that must be our two daughters. It's much more fun than being flowers. I am a little tackle. I am really, I'm, I'm the winner. I try to die, but soon I find I'm someone else's dinner. producers, consumers, and decomposers. I can practice food chain vocabulary words. Should I eat of your animals? I do. Two, three, flip! I'll get you next time. <laughs> what are you doing? Making a food chain. Can you show me what you got going on? We, we put the plant and the rabbit eats the plant. And then the, the fox, fox. It's the rabbit and the girl. It's the fox. Wow, very good. And Thanks. That is a I can create a food pyramid. I can explain the flow of energy in a food chamber. The bug is eaten, then the fish just ate it, then the bigger fish just ate it. Then the seagulls could eat. Eagle. Very good, and Mary. A Very good, Mary. And it's doing all over it. <laughs> good. Go ahead and press. The fly gets the energy from the grass. Then the fish gets the energy from the fly. Then the bear gets energy from the fish. Awesome. Who has the most amount of energy? Sun. Who has the least amount of energy? Bear. You are a rock star. Can we see your pictures? The food chain is interesting and fun. It all starts with the sun. The sun passes its energy to a plant. So shine, sun, shine, boom. I can show off my knowledge of the food chain by making an awesome food chain ebook.